3-axis electronic gimbals for DSLR cameras have been around for a few years now. More recently, there came the single-handle gimbals for lightweight cameras. The big problem with all of them is that the gimbal blocked the rear screen on the camera. Now we have the FilmPower 5100 slant, and the big advantage of the slant is that the rear LCD screen on the camera can be seen because the motor is at a 45 degree angle and doesn't cover the screen. Another advantage of the Nebula 5100 is that this slant design takes about a half pound off the gimbal. It can now hold a camera weighing seven pounds. That is 3.2 kg. Also, like the Nebula 5100, this gimbal does not require balancing. It is recommended that you balance the camera anyways because it puts less strain on the motors and uses less power. To balance the gimbal, you need to attach the plate to the bottom of the camera and then slide it into the gimbal like so and lock it and you'll see it's not quite balanced yet. So what we'll do now is we'll move the bottom on this arm and slide it to the right a little bit. That should give me a little bit more balance. See, you want it so it stays in the center. And then I'll readjust this back a little bit. A little too much. Right at about here should be good. And now the camera should be fairly well balanced. The controls are in the same location as the Nebula 5100. There's a power switch right here. That turns the gimbal on. It's recessed so you don't accidentally hit it while you're shooting. You hit the mode button once. And it puts the gimbal at midpoint. Hit the button twice. And now you are in follow mode. It goes to the left and then goes to the right. It goes up and then it goes down. That is follow mode. Push the button three times. And that is where it locks the camera in place. Now the camera will stay pointed forward even though I'm moving the gimbal up and down and left and right. The camera does not tilt or pan. It's a lock mode. It's like if you want to put it onto a jib. Push the button four times and you get a very interesting mode in that it will do a roll as well as a tilt as well as a pan. So you could start with the camera off axis, start walking with it and straighten it out. A very fun mode. Mode 5 is time lapse and that's for another video. In order to do inverted mode, you have to lift the gimbal above the camera and move the motor forward just like I just did. And then you can turn on the gimbal. And push the button. And now I have an inverted gimbal. And it works quite well in this mode. The one thing you have to watch out for is you don't go too far forward or you'll hit your lens shade unless you have a short lens. Like most gimbals, you have to do the funny walk to avoid the walking gait. The Film Power Nebula 5100 slant offers very strong motors and durable construction. The product comes in this very nice carrying case. Until next time, this is Alan Halfill for Personal View.